WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets oscillating in both directions. Right now, you're looking at the S&P's futures positive by 19 points, trading at 32.64. We've got the NASDAQ futures negative by 51 points. NASDAQ futures within a half a point of all-time highs this morning. Just missed it. We'll see if we get back up to that level. The Dow up 228 points right now, trading 26,862. It's about nine-tenths per in the positive for the Dow. And how about the Russell leading the way up 1.8% or 26 points in the green trading at 1490. Quite a day for commodities when you have the, the dollar index pulling back. Right now you're looking at a dollar index negative 450 ticks trading at 95,382. Jumping over to commodities, check it out. Crew contract. 41.83. We're as high as 42.51. How about the silver chart? Up a buck 41. We're now at 21.64 within two pennies of those highs we had. Gold up $27 at 18.44.40. Notes and bonds, we're catching a little bit of higher price. Lower yield, the 10 year up three ticks at 139.15. The 30 year up 10 ticks at 180.10. We'll start things off. Let's jump around to some of the stocks with action today. Coca Cola out with their numbers this morning, up about 2.5%, trading at 47.29. That's $1.17 in the green. We had IBM numbers last night. Talk about giving it back. We trade all the way to 135.23, and just like that, we're now up less than a dollar, up 77 cents on IBM, trading at 127.14. Got to talk about Amazon. We trade up to 32.67 pre market. We're about 100 bucks off of that high, but just since from 31.20, now trading at 31.68. Some of the tech stocks, Apple shares pulling back as well. You saw the NASDAQ, as I mentioned, near all-time highs. We're now about 150 points in the NASDAQ 100 futures off that level. You had Apple alone trading from 398 to under 390. Market catching a little bit of a bid now at 391.74. Tesla shares from 1698, now trading 1584. And some of the bank stocks, Wells Fargo. So what's the story? They're getting a new uh, new CEO, I believe. Stocks making moves. Where are they? CFO. Yes. So you got Wells Fargo, Mike Santomassimo. Santomassimo, new CFO. All the banks, though, today. This market, Wells Fargo up 6%. JP Morgan up 24 Bank of America up 38 Citi up 28 we get Snapchat earnings after the bell as well. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White live at 2. Tom O'Brien live at 3. We'll be right back in three minutes with Dave White with Power Trading Hour.